Hello guys, it's Robbie here again. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, we're gonna talk about 10 good reasons to study in Germany. Before that, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook account. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. First reason, low or no tuition fee. Yes, studying here in Germany is absolutely free. But of course, if you are going to study in a private university, syempre may bayad dyan. And mostly, ang private university is like... Uh, uh, start ng tuition from 6 to 700 euros pataas depende if you are uh, going to study bachelor's degree or master's and if you are going to study in a public university it's absolutely free even if you are international student or non-european citizen it's free yung ibang university nagcha-charge sila ng around 250 euros for administrative cost kasama na din doon yung monthly ticket yung monthly ticket means uh, public transportation ticket for six months so it's like you are only paying for public transportation if you are not financially independent uh, you can apply for a scholarship the information i'm gonna link it down below and if you are going to study vocational course hindi lang siya free may allowance ka pa from public transportation allowance uh, housing allowance and food allowance so ang gagawin mo na lang is mag -aral. we made a video about that very inspiring story of a Filipina. The link is in the description box below. Let's move on to the second one. Top rank universities. Based on official records in 2018, there are more than 400 universities in Germany. And of course, hindi lang syempre sila marami. German universities are also above global higher education standards. Public and private universities are always being checked kung namin meet ba nila yung senet ng government na standard nila sa education. And because of that, a lot of them have been consistently ranked among the best universities in the world. To give you an example like technological universities and Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich and Dito sa Berlin is Humboldt University. And you know what the good thing about studying here in Germany is like, di ba sa Pilipinas, nakalagay na sa mga ads minsan, preferably UP student graduate or Ateneo, La Salle graduate. Dito sa Germany is the opposite. Hindi ka tatanungin kung saan school ka graduate. Instead, kung ano yung natapos mo. Mga private conversation sa mga friends mo, pag nag-uusap nag kayo, Tatan hindi ka tatanong, oh, saan ka graduate, saan ka nag-aaral? Instead, they will ask you, what are you doing, what are you studying? Hindi pa sa Pilipinas, ang unang question agad sa'yo kapag may namit kang bagong friend, oh, saan ka nag-aaral? Dito is the opposite, tatanungin sa'yo, ano yung inaaral mo? It doesn't matter kung saan ka nag-aaral. Let's move on to the third one. Travel Europe on a student visa. Yes, you hear it right. If you have a student visa and living in Germany, you will cherish the same right like a German citizen or a European citizen regarding free travel. You don't have to apply for a visa like if you are going to travel all around Europe like para ka lang travel from Manila to Cebu na wala na silang mga borders. You can travel by car, by bus, by train, by plane. Sometimes hinihingan ka lang ng passport for identification purposes sa, sa pag-board pag ng plane but uh, mostly wala na silang mga immigration check. Like nandito ka sa Central Europe if you want to go to Scandinavia or, or South part of Europe, you just have to book a flight and then off you go. Let's move on to the fourth one, work opportunities. Siyempre international student ka dito. And yes, you are allowed to work maximum of 20 hours per week if you have university and kapag holiday like semester break or public holiday, you can work full time like 8 hours a day. Based on statistic, 60% of international students are working here part time. Uh, you can work in a hotel or in a reception, in a restaurant and some are administrative staff like part time administrative staff or kahit ano, mga dog walker but you have to speak German hirap ka makahanap ng work if you don't speak the language yun yung parati kong sinasabi sa vlog na inuulit-ulit ko na it's impossible to find job or to find a work even part time kung hindi ka marunong mag German pang lima some courses are taught in English. Kung hindi ka fluent mag German and hindi ka confident ng uh, classes is in German, you have an option to study in English. Merong mga public or private universities, especially master's program, uh, kung uh, gusto mo is mga business courses or mga international relations courses, uh, meron silang mga English courses din and yeah, you just have to provide IELTS test or depende kung anong hinihinging English proficiency nila. But kapag mga undergrad courses, mostly are in German. But yun nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag mga, in, uh, mga business courses, mga 
international relations or mga international business is meron mga English. Kaya meron ka pa rin choices kahit hindi ka marunong mag-German. Pang-anin, healthcare. Isa sa mga requirements for international students here is uh, you have to provide health insurance kasi bawal dito ang walang insurance. Mura lang naman mga 90 euros pataas. Meron kang choices kung public or private insurance but mostly is uh, public insurance kasi wala rin namang difference kahit public or private. And kapag meron kang insurance, wala kang problemahin kasi libre ang check-up, hospitalization, and opta or physiotherapy. Ang hindi lang is kapag nagka-problema ka sa dental mo. And you have to pay extra for that. Meron lang percentage ang um, kinocover ng insurance. Hindi, I think mga 10% lang. Hindi, I'm not sure ha, pero konti lang yung kinocover nila. So, let's move on sa pang pito. Affordable cost of living. In comparison to other European countries, katulad ng Scandinavia, Switzerland, or maybe in UK, dito sa Germany, especially dito sa Berlin where I live, is far more cheaper. Ang mapapamahal ka lang talaga is sa rent. Rent is the major, major financial concern that you have to tackle when studying here in Germany. However, there are many options available to you. To ease your financial burden, kung gusto mo mag aral dito, you can find someone to share apartment with. About naman sa transportation cost in the uh, food cost is hindi ganun kamahal. If you want to know specific details about rent cost, food cost, and transportation cost, and of course, meron din akong monthly cost of living as a student in Germany, the links are in the description down below. Let's move on sa pangwalo. Work opportunities after your studies. After your graduation, after your bachelor or maybe master's, uh, you will be given a chance to stay here in Germany for another year to find a job. Uh, kung makahanap ka ng job, then they will convert your student visa to working visa. And that leads to German residency. And kung nag-decide ka na Germany is not for you, maybe you realize na um, this place is not really for you because of the language and malungkot and gusto mong umuwi or bumalik ng Pilipinas or maybe you want to migrate some other country. Yung degree na na-earn mo dito sa Germany is recognized all around the world. So, uh, you can also find a, a job anywhere you want. Kasi sabi ko nga sa'yo kanina, educational system dito sa Germany is one of the best in the world. Kahit saan ka mag-apply, I think they will recognize your degree. Second to the last, Number nine, learn new language. Isa pa sa mga personal reasons ko to study here in Germany is you got to study new language. Me, in my case, I can speak German fluently and because I can speak German and English as well, they asked me or required me to study a new international language. And pinapili nila ako mag-aral either Spanish or French. So I chose Spanish kasi medyo madali na yung Spanish sa atin, sa mga Filipino. So yun, you have a chance to learn new language na hindi mo inisip or aakalain na aaralin mo before. Pang sampung reason natin, last but not the least, it is safe here. It's a funny thing kasi before moving here in Germany, I have the prejudice that Germans are uh, rude and uh, racist. And uh, nung time na pagpunta ko dito and I, I got to know Germans, they are one of the friendliest people uh, na nakilala ko. Mind you, Germans are not easy to please. But kapag naging kaibigan ka nila, they will treasure your friendship. But anyway, dito sa Germany is safe. Ang criminality dito sa Germany is napakababa compared sa Pilipinas na napakataas ng criminality rate. Actually, wala pang times na, oh, merong ambulance, may corona. Wag naman sa yung corona. Anyway, wala pang times na naisip na ko na hindi ako dito safe sa Germany. Hindi katulad sa Pilipinas. Pag uuwi ako na parang napaparanoid ako na baka ako ma-hold up or baka ako madukutan. And dito sa Germany, is really safe kahit ka maglakad ng, ng alas 12 ng madaling araw o ng hating gabi sa kalsada. Wala sa yung gagalaw or wala sa yung mga hold up. Yung mga prejudice ko before moving here in Germany is napalitan siya. And now, I'm enjoying my life here in Germany and it's a safe place to live. So yun, yun ang aking top 10 reasons kung bakit magandang mag-aral dito sa Germany. So I hope nakatulong yung video sa inyo sa pagde-decide if you want to study here in Germany. If you like the video na parati kong sinasabi sa inyo, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and Facebook account. Yes, meron akong Facebook ngayon. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you again next time. Bye!